A person could be denied bail for 120 days. In what circumstances? In this video, we're going to be speaking about that. Stay tuned. Although a person is presumed innocent until proven guilty, the Bail Act in Trinidad and Tobago provides that a person could be denied bail for 120 days if they are charged for a listed offence and that listed offence, the punishment is by imprisonment for 10 years or more. In two circumstances, one, if the person was charged for one of the listed offences before and the person was convicted or if the person was charged for one of the listed offences but the matter is still pending. In those circumstances, the court will deny bail for 120 days. What are those listed offences? Let's get into those now. What I use to help me recall those listed offences in the Bail Act would be two acronyms. One of the words spelled would be FAST and then the other is CODAP. Let me just explain what each of the letters stand for. Under FAST, I have the Firearm Act, there's the Anti-Gang Act, there's the Sexual Offences Act, Trafficking in Persons Act. That's for FAST. And then CODAP, I have the Children Act, there's the Offences Against Persons Act, there's the Dangerous Drug Act, there's the Anti-Terrorism Act, and then there's the Kidnapping Act. Now, those are the words that I use. If you could recall what they stand for, you could just leave them in the comments there. Or if you want to just rearrange the words and give me a new acronym, all free and well, just leave it in the comments right below there. Now, I listed those acts, but I want you to remember that the law says that bail must be denied or shall be denied to a person who is who is charged for one of those offenses where the penalty is by imprisonment for a period of 10 years or more and the person either had a conviction under one of those listed offenses or the person has a pending matter under one of those listed, listed offenses. Let me just give you an example. So let's look at Jack. Let's say Jack is charged for the offense of um, he was. He was charged with the offence of kidnapping in 2019 and he got convicted for the offence in the same year, in 2019. And then in 2020, he gets arrested again. He goes before the court and the charge is read. It's for the same offence of kidnapping. In such a case, although he's presumed innocent until proven guilty, the law says that he is not going to be granted bail for 120 days because he's charged for one of those listed offenses and he has a conviction for one of those listed offenses. And let's just add, let's make it a little different. Now, if it is that Jack, he was charged for the offense, the same offense of kidnapping and the matter is still pending before the court. This happened in 2019, still pending. And then in 20, early 2021, he's now charged for the same offense. But the matter is still pending. He goes before the court, he is not Denied. going to be granted bail for 120 days. Now, I don't know what's your view on that. Knowing that he's presumed innocent until proven guilty, you can just leave your comments down there. Do you think that's fair? Do you think that's unfair? Just leave it in the comments down there. So I hope that example explains the whole principle of a person being denied bail for roughly four months if it is that they are charged for an offence under the listed um, offences in the Bail Act. I hope that, I hope that was clear. If not, I'll just leave a little sec. Just let me know. Leave it in the comments down there and then I'll explain it further. Uh, so those, th that is what I wanted to explain to reference to uh, a person being denied bail for 120 days. Once the 120 days pass, the person could then go to, the, to, the, to a judge in the high court to apply for bail. That is if uh, the trial has not started. Uh, once trial has not started, you go up there and then the court would consider whether they would grant bail or not. Now, the law always tries to be balanced. There is one exception uh, in the said act which says that it's, it is only in exceptional circumstances is when the court may consider granting bail uh, within the 120 
details. In those exceptional circumstances, the standards are really high and I'll probably explain, explain those uh, exceptional circumstances. But if not, you could always speak to an attorney and ask the attorney what does exceptional circumstances refer to. And I'm sure my colleagues uh, around the island will be able to explain types or examples of exceptional circumstances. So that is it for uh, the 120 days denial of bail. Now this act, uh, it applies only for three years. It was in 19, 2019, 20, 21, 22, 19, 20, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I think it's 2023 mm -hmm. that this is going to uh, be uh, ended. And, uh, but I know that there may be some changes in the law soon. So just recall that this video is being made in February 2021. There may be some changes in the law after this if there's any changes i'll make sure that i update the video you guys please subscribe share the videos uh i hope you're learning some stuff from it and check out some of my other videos you guys keep good we will see in those other videos for now bye